is Walter Osborne, and this is my my game critic assignment for Full Sail University. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little bit of this game. This game is called Magic the Gathering Arena, and it's a game. I mean, I've played its predecessors before, and this one kind of excelled for where the last games I left off. Uh, just go ahead going over some of the things so I'll show you my decks uh, I got uh, this one I call dark fire because it has black and red the other one good and evil for light and dark and then some other ones I don't have really well this one I don't have names and I have archangels which is all white deck and then savage lands is the one that was preset but uh, let's go ahead and take a look in the dark fire deck So in Magic the Gathering, you have all these different colors. Each color has a significant meaning. So within my Darkfire deck, let's get rid of that, I have red and black. Black being the death color. Black focuses mainly on uh, sacrificing your um, life points in order to decimate your opponent. Red focuses on fast tactics and barrages. And then uh, you have white, which is the opposite of black which is uh, white focuses on mainly giving life to the player and also building up a massive army blue focuses mainly on uh, canceling out what your opponent can do uh, so kind of like uh, Muhammad Ali with the rope dope uh, exhausting your player of uh, other opponents cards so that way you have the advantage and then you have green which is uh, mainly focused on uh, nature and Pretty much summoning bigger and better creatures to go ahead and just trample over your opponent. And within this game, they have certain things and different cards that go ahead and give out different abilities. For instance, this one. This is an instant card, so it can be played on the fly. Uh, target creature gets negative one, one until end of turn. It gets an additional negative one, one until end of turn for each card name compound fracture in your graveyard. So meaning that this card, uh, like how this one has a counter of 1-2, one, one is this, uh, signifying that the creature has the ability to uh, do one damage and the two is its life. So with Compound Fracture, if I was to play that card on it, it will lose one damage and also lose one of its life. Now, if I had multiple of these within my deck, uh, so max that I could have is four. If I had four of them, it would be doing minus four, minus four, and that would completely wipe out uh, Curse Bound Witch. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop into a game real quick so I can show you just a little bit, and then I'll talk about some of the pros and cons that I have about this game. This is one of the cons that I have. It takes a little bit to get into a matchmaking. I mean, it's not as long as bad as other games, but it's still a little bit of a waste. And another thing that I kind of a little angry about is that it just seems kind of like the older games. I mean, they have some newer things to it, but it doesn't really like give out the more flashier side of what the game could actually be. Now here at this step it's pretty much you can look at your cards and it's also determining who goes first. Me and I'm going first so I can go ahead and choose who I want to keep these cards or do a mulligan which is I go and select the cards that I don't want to get a new hand then I'll be down less one card but I'll keep one card. But the main um, thing that I do like about this game is how quick it is to pick up and how it, it gives the player more options instead of just being at one singular point and just focus on one color. You can go ahead and choose multiple colors and just 
devastate and destroy your opponent. This card, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at your hand. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick one that I want to kill him and exile. So if I exile this card, they won't be able to kill the that card again, but there's one damage. Discard it and it'll do two damage. Or I can keep it, pay the cost for its mana, and I'll be able to um, keep it within the battlefield. So that's what I'm gonna actually go ahead and do. And I don't have nothing I can't do at this point, so I'm just gonna go ahead and head on and have my turn. But yeah, that's mainly why I wanted to go ahead and talk about it and show you guys a little bit of the gameplay of this game. And so, uh, hope you liked the video. Um, Please leave a like, comment, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thank you.